Welcome to TechTree.TV. Today we are going to review the Sensation XE. The original Sensation struck a fine balance between its beauty and performance. This time around, it's back again with better specs and the much hyped Beats audio integration. The XE looks almost similar to the original Sensation, save for the red accent. The phone's 4.3 inch screen is encased in a slightly curved Gorilla Glass. The display produces decent colors, however, its blacks aren't deep enough when compared to AMOLED panels. Overall, the device is a good build quality. Having said that, a new design would have been great. The XE is powered by a 1.5GHz dual-core CPU coupled with an Adreno 220 GPU. It features an 8MP main and VGA front camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and a microSD card slot. The biggest downer here is the phone's Wi-Fi signal reception issue. As soon as you grip it near the lens, the Wi-Fi strength dies down to zero within seconds. This becomes very annoying if you browse the web in landscape mode. On the software front, the UI is quite smooth but there's nothing new or exciting here. The Beats audio integration comes with the stylish earphones and they're good at providing bass. However, if you prefer music without any fancy effects, you're out of luck. Finally, apart from a minor performance boost, the handset had gotten hardly better than the original sensation. In fact, it has a serious death grip issue. Therefore, you're better off with the original sensation or Samsung's Galaxy S2 rather than paying a premium for this one. For a full review of the device, please visit www.techtree.com.